Hey Scorpio, welcome to your October reading. I hope that you're having a great day. We're going to take a look and see what messages need come through for you for the month of October. Get you some guidance, get you some insight overall, see what's going on, what you can expect. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, we're going to start off with some Moonology cards because we have that eclipse in Libra taking place. The solar eclipse in Libra on the 13th. So I figured, let's see how this eclipse might be affecting you. What might come up around this time. Also a bit of an insight of what might come up six months from now or the next six months. This might be something that's kind of taken place for a little while. So I kind of want to see if there's anything that Spirit has to say regards to that we have luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius maybe you got some saggy placements or dealing with a saggy or there could be something um that's starting up around now that will be connected to sagittarius season it might be relevant scorpio conclusions are within reach and show the world the real you full moon in aquarius we also have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn wow so there's something this is what i'm seeing Whatever is going on in October, it's going to actually be playing out in December, January, February. <laughs> so I'm seeing that this might be kind of like a month, month on month on month kind of cycle. Like there's some sort of closure or ending or you're going to be getting some sort of conclusion or something's coming full circle. You're getting clarity on something, Scorpio. Ooh, it's even connected to Pisces season. This is interesting. Full moon in Gemini. Definitely December is going to be... Dude, we're in October and we're talking about things that might be taking place in December. Maybe come back to this. Maybe come back to this. Bookmark this video and be like, come back to this later on. Because seriously, there could there seems like there's something poignant happening in October that's linked to December. Specifically around the full moon in Gemini. That's going to be... That'll be in December, right? <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure it'll be in December. There's something about, like, luck is on your side. There's some sort of good fortune, good news coming your way. This is going to be a time of expansion. This is a time for you to break out of your comfort zone. This is a time for you to reveal yourself, to step out, to be seen, to promote yourself, to put your product out there, to step out into the world to like shoot your shot take a chance this is about you needing to like be brave this might be something that you're doing for the greater good or it benefits other people or it's like you helping heal others or like making some sort of significant difference in other people's lives by you doing that it's amplifying luck luck is on your freaking side scorpio this is powerful stuff it truly is um it feels very I don't, I don't even have words for it. It just feels like your effort and your dedication is paying off. And even throughout October, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you are working towards or building on, you are in so much support from the universe and the divine saying, good for you, keep going. You might be seeing the big rewards by December, by the end of 2023, okay? That's probably where you're going to start to really reap the rewards. So whatever it is that you're doing right now, Scorpio, keep it up because it's paying off and your future self is thriving. So we have the fish coming out as your first card. This always makes me think of Pisces. <laughs> Maybe you got Pisces in place, but maybe you're a Pisces moon. But right now, it's kind of showing up in October. You're kind of like unsure about something. Something's up in the air. You're a little uncertain about where things might go. If this is for you, do you want to continue down this path, down this road? It's like it's like when Netflix comes up with the notification. Are you still watching? Do you want to continue? And you're like, you know, you're kind of like wondering, hmm, is this is this a show I want to continue? Is this even good? Is it? It's kind of like yeah, like. You watch the pilot episode and you're kind of like, I'm not really, I'm not really taking the bait. Like, you're gonna have to give me a little bit more to spark my interest. So you're kind of like, should I watch any more? Should I watch the second episode or should I just say, you know what, this show sucks, right? You're kind of like uncertain about how you feel about something or someone or a path. It's very slow moving. We had the turtle at the bottom of the deck, so it's a little bit slow. Maybe a little bit stagnant. Um, or not much is happening at the moment. Tell me more. What else is going on for Scorpio in October 2023? What's going on for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in October. What's going on for Scorpio? Y'all are quiet. Oh, there we go. The beaver. Okay, so I see that you're going to continue to keep putting your energy into whatever this is. 
Um, you, by the way, you got double water coming out. So I see that you're going to continue to keep seeing, pursuing. You're going to give it a little bit of time. You're going to be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep putting effort into this. Time will tell. You have a good attitude about it. You're actually pretty optimistic about it. Um, we have the unicorn. You foresee the potential of this path, of, this, of the future, where things could go. You're getting glimpses. You are definitely forward thinking. You're just asking yourself, like, why do you want this thing? Why do you want this job? Why do you want this person? Why do you want this path? This fill in the blank, whatever it is that you're trying to like manifest or bring to fruition. You're like, why do I want that? What's your intention behind it, Scorpio? And again, we have this full moon energy that's connected to this. Something being revealed to you. Oh, shit. We have the bat underneath the unicorn. Something is going to be revealed to you, Scorpio. Definitely, definitely very soon. You're going to have some sort of conclusion. Full moon eclipse, y'all. Oh, I didn't even realize, right? Full moon eclipse. Full moon eclipse, y'all. That is the 28th of October. And guess what sign it's in? Taurus. Your opposite. Yeah. You're going to be getting fat answers this month. As soon as the 28th of October. That's not that far from now. You're like, oh my God, I have to wait a couple weeks. Oh my God. Yeah, you're going to have your answers, Scorpio. Isn't that what you want? You're getting your answers. You're getting your clarity. It kind of feels like you're needing to step back or like zoom out or like you're going to be looking at the bigger picture. Okay. Tell me more. What's going on for Scorpio in October 2023? So you're going to know by the end of the month, by the end of October, you're going to have your answer on this. Whatever it is that you're kind of going back and forth about, yeah, that you're going to continue to put energy in. You're going to see where this goes. You're going to see if anything sprouts from the seed that you planted. You're going to know by the end of the month. It's either going to be a yes, hell yes, or a hell no. All right, tell me more about October for Scorpio. You guys, this is so quiet. Tell me more. Oh, there we go. Oh, panther panther Ooh. that's that's feisty we also have the horse at the bottom the owl crocodile you're gonna and the phoenix and the black egg well damn i mean you're getting your truth you're getting the truth scorpio you might need to cool off and kind of sit with these feelings whatever it is that you're finding out panther this is Hmm, I'm like wondering if this is your reaction to whatever it is that you find out or whatever it is that's revealed to you. This can be, well, Panther is an energy of like a need of release, a buildup of emo emotion, energy. There's this big, I feel like a dramatic, dramatic climax type shit. Like it could be a little... I don't know, is it messy? Are you annoyed? Are you mad? Are you upset? Are you angry? Because I mean, we look at the panther, he looks pretty pissed off. So I'm like, Scorpio, whew, I hope someone didn't piss you off because now you got your stinger, you're ready to like pounce, you're ready to... So hopefully someone didn't cross you or disrespect you or I don't know. But we'll get into that with the tarot, we'll see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the horse. So the horse does talk about progression, momentum, freedom, expansion, whatever you put your mind, your focus, your energy towards. You truly can attract what your heart, what your mind, you set that to. And with the owl, it does talk about some sort of blessing or reward and your efforts paying off. The owl is also an energy, and both these cards actually, your strong, strong, strong intuitive knowledge that you have this deep feeling you kind of already have a sense of what might happen and maybe that's why you're reacting this way because you're like fuck i knew it i knew it <laughs> uh, and so because of that you're like i need to cool off for a second i need a moment i need to simmer down i need to sit and observe these feelings i need to just kind of like keep myself in check <sighs> and then boom phoenix and the black egg we got the root chakra we got the throat chakra when this truth comes out or when you express this truth you're going to need to remain grounded you're going to need to remain centered you got to hold yourself first of all hold yourself fill in the blank i heard hold yourself back hold yourself hold yourself down hold yourself accountable that's when that's why i paused i was like hold yourself i heard accountable back 
down like okay so we'll see what that's about but this is where that big fat truth comes on out and there's no going back from that and conclusions are now here final answer final determination final call so let's get into the tarot <laughs> buffalo okay so you you determine you're pushing through oh scorpio damn that's a lot let's see what's going on for scorpio in october show me clearly this kind of feels beaver and the panther like there's like this determination that you have or it's just like it's like you're putting all your might into something you're like oh like that final push punch and break that door down like like you're not being stopped or you're like really like i don't know you are you frustrated here what is this i don't know let's get into the time i'm getting sidetracked show me clearly what's going on for scorpio in october 2023 what's going on for scorpio in october 2023 what do my scorpios need to know look out for or be aware of by the way you could also be dealing with aquarius because we have full moon aquarius cards so we got saggy and aquarius energy six of wands reverse death at the bottom so perhaps something doesn't go according to plan or whatever that you've been kind of going back and forth about you're deciding nope or it's it's done it's finished it that's it death scorpio energy hangman okay like kind of needing to accept that this is going to change or that this is done like <sighs> all right tell me more so for some you're kind of pissed off that you've invested all this time and energy for it to maybe go nowhere i don't want to jump to conclusions just yet and say it's going nowhere because but that's for some of you like you're realizing like okay yeah this is done six of pentacles six six there needs to be some sort of if you're dealing with other people oh my god six of swords at the bottom six 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 maybe that's gonna be a synchronicity that you're seeing or have been seeing or will start to see in october your intuition is going to help guide you to the next step or where you're headed where you're going but there's needing to be there needs to be balance there needs to be some sort of reciprocation if you're dealing with another person or other people there needs to be like mutual effort met in the middle consistency maybe you're feeling with that six of wands six of wands in the reverse feeling under recognized not seen not appreciated for the efforts that you're doing maybe you're not if this isn't your job it's like maybe you're not getting paid as much as you deserve you deserve more than what you're getting all right tell me more what's going on for scorpio in october eight of cups so if you're not going to get more then you're going to move on to something else because you know that there is more out there and if it's not this it's something else right and so that could be what you're realizing is like okay if you can't give me what i want if you can't give me the amount of money i deserve you can't give me the love the respect the effort the fill in the blank of whatever it is that's like not to your standard scorpio i see that you could be choosing eight of cups to leave or walk away from something in hopes to find something better that you deserve and the page of wands at the bottom which tells me like you're pretty optimistic like you're like i know that i can find this i know i can have this i know it's out there and if it's not here it's somewhere else period all right tell me more the hermit so you might need to like remove yourself from a situation you might need to take a moment a time out you could be dealing with a virgo we got virgo energy out here this could be connected to something that was occurring during Virgo season or something that begun during Virgo season. Um, we have the Three of Wands at the bottom, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So time will tell. Definitely time will tell. You will get your answers. Again, by the end of October, you're going to have your answers. You're going to have your clarity about where things are going. The only thing is, is whatever it is that you are getting clarity on, Four of Cups... I don't know if you're necessarily too pleased or happy or satisfied about that. And that's why we had that panther come out. And I was like, damn, like you might be kind of pissed off. You're, you know what? I will say judgments underneath the four of cups. So there is some sort of divine orchestration 
Um, if you're like experiencing some sort of rejection, know that it's redirection towards something that's actually in alignment with your best self. Okay, let's. I'm gonna pull you some more. Okay, what else can Scorpio expect in the month of October? Show me clearly what's going on for Scorpio in October. The magician. So that's kind of like that's kind of like going back to oh wait where is it that it was the phoenix the black egg the cobra or not cobra why did i say cobra the crocodile remember i was like okay you're gonna probably need to take a time out to just like gather yourself collect your emotions sit with these feels take a moment check in with yourself are you okay <laughs> take a breather cool down simmer down and then that's where the big fat transformation takes place phoenix and the black egg right and then we have that magician so after taking a moment to cool off you're like all right i'm back i'm back on my bullshit i'm ready let's manifest this wish fulfillment this desire this fill in the blank okay so magician tell me more what is scorpio manifesting or calling in or attracting in their life tell me about this next interesting so the seven of cups reverse fell on top of the six of wands reverse i'll keep that there kind of gonna see that as a clarifier give me a second what does scorpio attract oh my god another one six of swords okay that's on that six of wands i'm gonna keep that there what is scorpio attracting moving forwards two of swords you have a choice to make what is scorpio calling in you have options or Queen of Cups, tell me more. Okay, this keep, dude, this keeps falling back on the Six of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands at the bottom. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, okay, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go back. We're re going, we're revisiting the Six of Wands reverse, okay? Because all these cards fell on top of that card. So, whatever that wasn't successful or wasn't victorious or like led to some sort of disappointment or like you know things not really going according to plan six of swords of risk so i see you returning to that i see that <laughs> oops maybe that's what you're attracting right with the magician i was like what is scorpio attracting what is scorpio moving towards after this after like taking a breather taking a time out i see you coming back to this scorpio whatever that kind of failed or fell apart or you know wasn't successful first time around six of swords reverse i see you coming back to it and seven of cups reverse you're having clarity about either what went wrong what needs to change um you're again this goes back to the answers that are coming to light and then we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse which is telling me that either you know either that you're experiencing impatience it's just gonna it's gonna require more time for some of you, it's like it's not that it's over or it's not going anywhere. You just may need more time and maybe you're just getting impatient. Like, you know how I was saying that this might be playing out not only just October, November, December, January, February, even March, dude. Even fucking March because we have that Pisces energy, Pisces season. That's in March, y'all. So this might this might take time to really establish yourself. And you're kind of questioning, do I have the patience? Do I have the time for that? Do I see myself waiting around for this? It depends, right? It depends on what it is. It depends on if this is really what you want or are you going to look elsewhere? That's up to you. Um, Seven of Pentacles reverse can also talk about you choosing to just like completely be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> choosing the other option. Choosing, uh, you know, I invested all this time, energy of taking count for taking stock. What That's what I meant to say. But you know what? This pentacle over here looks actually a lot more promising. So I think I might pursue a different direction. So going back to magician, what are you calling in? What are you attracting? What are you moving towards? We have the two of swords and then the queen of cups. So the choice is up to you, Scorpio. You'll either make the decision like, okay, I'm done. I'm moving in a different direction. This is it. This is final. Bye. Cut that tie. <laughs> Close that door. Or you're making the choice like, you know what? I see that this has potential. I see that this is the investment and it's only going to get better with time. So you might see that this is worth fighting for or yeah, seven of wands and the 10 of wands. You might see that this is worth fighting for. Um, some of you five of cups underneath that and the six of cups. Okay. 
Sixes, man. The sixes are showing up consistently in your reading. For some, you're it's for some you're realizing like, yeah, this is worth fighting for, and for some you're realizing like, no, it's not. So it's it's kind of like a mixed bag, either or. Scorpio, you're gonna have to decide what is best for you, but you're gonna have your answers. You're gonna know by the end of this month. So this eclipse is helping you make this choice. Um. Yeah, so that's very like straight to the point. I know we're only at like 20 minutes, but I'm like, I don't know. Should I should I pull anything out? Should I clarify anything? Let's look into the hermit. What do you after you know, you getting some sort of clarity and insight. You you're going inwards to kind of like reflect and like do a little bit of introspection about this next step or this next plan. Let's look into that. I'm using my mermaid deck for that. Tell me the hermit for Scorpio. Okay. Tell me about the hermit for Scorpio in October. This might be when the moon's in Virgo. I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Wait, we have... Oh, that could be... You know what? This might just be before the eclipse. This might be around like the 10th. Because this will be up on Monday, right? So this this Kermit energy... The, oh, the moon will be in Virgo on Tuesday. <laughs> so you might, you might already be in this energy of... Let me think. Let me reflect. You might already be in this energy by the time you're listening to this. It could be before the eclipse for some, depending on where you're at. Damn, that's early as fuck. I just realized. Okay, time of the Hermit. Three of Pentacles. The Star. And the Seven of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Moon at the bottom. Full Moon. Vibes. Pisces energy with the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Again, like, Scorpio, by the end of this month, you're going to have clarity on whether or not this is worth fighting for or whether or not you want to continue pursuing something, someone... I see that this is tied to like a wish fulfillment and that there is something that you want out of this and you do three of pentacles like you do want this to work there needs to if this is involving other people there needs to be mutual effort um this could be about your job this could be about a wish fulfillment in your career or your studies or like it could be a personal goal as well what's the seven of swords about there is some sort of um maybe you're coming up with some, some sort of plan here it also comes back to what are your intentions. Let me look into that Seven of Swords. For Scorpio, why is the Seven of Swords here? How about the Seven of Swords? Two of Cups. This could be about a connection. Four of Cups reversed. There's something you're not seeing or is you're not... We have the Star again. Aquarius coming out quite a bit. Seven of Swords for Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. There could be a loss for some of you. Justice. There's you might exp you might be experiencing like a temporary loss, but it's for a long term gain. Or it's like I see if there's something that you're losing out on, Scorpio. It's because there's something better coming around. Um. So what's not what you're not seeing or what you're not. What's not being revealed to you? Two of Cups, Four of Cups reversed, and the Five of Pentacles justice. Like, there's, see, there's like this connection or there's like a relationship here. Could be romantic, could be friendship, could be even business related because we do have Pentacles coming out. But there is something about this connection that you're becoming aware of. There's something that you are facing or noticing. Like, it was behind you before. You didn't understand it. You didn't see it. You're just kind of focusing on maybe what wasn't working your attitude is changing about this you're you're flipping your attitude or you're turning something around but five of pentacles this can definitely represent like some sort of loss whether it be financially whether it be you just like missing out on an opportunity or just like i don't know just like missed opportunity vibes or anyways whatever that loss is it serves a purpose it's serving some sort of like lesson it's teaching you a lot and it's also you're gonna be rewarded afterwards like it's like you think it's a loss but actually it's a gain if there's something coming in 
that'll be even better it's kind of like you know you found a shiny stone you're like oh my god that's so pretty and then you lose it and you're like oh i lost a stone but guess what you find a diamond the next day you're like well that just makes up for it right you lost a pebble and you got it replaced with a diamond type shit like does that make sense anyways we have the two of wands so you got some sort of choice some sort of decision ace of cups could be a choice about a connection or a relationship your emotions are also playing a role in this choice how do you feel based off how you feel determines your choice and this choice could be about ending something with the world out here or there could be some sort of change ace of cups in the world there could be some sort of change or transition in a connection in your feelings like there could it maybe isn't representing like an ending but there is like some sort of like change that you can't come back from and then we have the seven of swords again clarifying this all is clarifying the seven of swords so again like there is i see that there could be a conversation page of swords seven of swords or something is going to be revealed to you through like communication we have aries energy more pisces um yeah scorpio Again, two of swords and the queen of cups. Let's see, what, what are you going to choose, Scorpio? With whatever it is that you're finding out, you have a choice to make. What are you choosing here? You know, based off current timelines, you got your free will. But I just kind of want to see what the cards might say, what you may end up choosing. Again, I was kind of picking up on like a mixed group where it's like some people you're choosing. Okay, fuck this. I'm gone. And then some of you are like, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to see. I'm going to invest. This is worth it. So let's see. Two of swords and the queen of cups. For Scorpio, what will Scorpio choose? What will Scorpio decide? The choice is up to you, Scorpio. What's sticking out? Ace of Cups? <laughs> it's sticking out, y'all. It's like not going back down. I'm just saying. So again, there's maybe a relationship at stake. That's way too many. That's a fat stack. I'm not taking that. Talk about this choice. Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. What will... Knight of Cups. This could be a choice in love. Maybe you have options in love, Scorpio. Two of Swords at the bottom. So see, you may have an option or decision to make. Eight of Cups underneath that. See? Okay, Scorpio, you're either making a choice to stay or to go. I have this Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. Two of Swords. Devil. Ooh. Are things toxic? Things getting out of hand borderline crazy <laughs> i hope not but hey maybe you're realizing you know what things are getting way too damn toxic i gotta go i gotta cut myself free from this maybe there's codependencies or like attachment issues let's see the star can you work through these issues can you work through this we have the king of cups at the bottom let's see six of pentacles ace of swords three of wands time is gonna tell scorpio time will tell if this can be worked through there needs to be more balance there needs to be more like respect like we have you know i don't know things have gone kind of toxic here what's this devil about what's this devil about scorpio there's some sort of like or manipulation or someone playing with your heart or playing with your feels or like making all these promises but then like not falling through okay that was a fail that didn't even work okay you know what let's see tell me this devil for scorpio Ooh, ten of swords reverse why am i feeling like history repeating itself type shit or you've been down this road before tell me the devil The Wheel of Fortune, Tower of the Devil. I'm hearing like the damage has already been done. That's dramatic. Ace of Pentacles. What the devil? The Four of Cups. Okay, so Scorpio, for some of you, and again, you have your free will, right? But for some of you, clarifying this devil, we have this vibe where it's like you may, hold on. So you've been down this road before, you've experienced, there's a bit of a pattern here. You've been disappointed by this, slash, it fell off before, things, it, remember that six of, six of uh, wands, there we go. There's all these sixes out here, I got sidetracked. Something that failed, something that wasn't successful. 
before in the past, maybe a couple times, maybe you gave many chances to this. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune being like, okay, maybe we can move past this. Maybe this time will be different, right? Here's the opportunity, opening, Ace of Pentacles. Here we go. Maybe this could work, right? Maybe this, maybe things will be different this time around. Then we have the Four of Cups come in again, but it's like, it might not be different. It might just be the same. Can I get one more on this? I feel like it's going to vary on like your attitude. It's going to vary on habits. It's going to vary on the effort that's put into this. If you don't make any changes, it's going to be the exact same thing, right? It's going to replay. History will play itself. It's going to require a lot of effort, a lot of work to overcome these like toxicities or negative ways. Hangman is going to require things to be very different and also Knight of Pentacles. So if there was a chance for you to like let's say you're choosing to stick it out you're like i see that this has potential i see that this is an investment and this is something that will maybe grow over time it will be slow not at pentacles i see that this is slow burning i don't think there's anything you can really do to speed up the process and honestly you're gonna have to do things very different this is gonna really require you to make big changes or drastic changes in order to have a different outcome otherwise i kind of see history repeating itself or just like a cycle repeating here so there's the need for you to be realistic about this um yeah because yeah okay all right we're gonna leave your reading here we, we talked for too long scorpio <laughs> i hope this was helpful and insightful again you're gonna get conclusions will be made by the end of the month you will know exactly where you stand and where you will be taking this for your life okay scorpio thank you for watching i appreciate you i'm gonna let you go bye